What's up guys? In this video, I will show you how you can actually create these nice looking card design using Tailwind CSS. So you can also do it using CSS, but just that Tailwind CSS offers utility classes. And in order to work with those classes, it makes it so easy to make designs. So yeah, so in this video, we'll be diving into how to create these nice looking card designs using Tailwind CSS. So I'm going to use the Tailwind Playground just so that I can code and sh see the output the same uh, in the same window. All right, so let's just start. Um, let's split it, and I'm going to clear everything. All right, so let's just start from scratch. So I'm going to have first of all a div, and this tab, this div is actually going to serve uh, as a root component. So first of all, I'll provide min at screen, which basically means the height or the minimum height of this div needs to be the height of the screen. Then the position, uh, the display property is going to be flex and item center so that we can basically center uh, the items inside it and also justify center and then we will do the background color. So let's go with PG gray 700 because this is what I have used in the original design and then I can do space. I will do it in a while. So all right. So now we have this, let me just increase the font size a bit. So font size. Wait a second. Font size, zoom in. All right, I can do it more. It takes a lot of time and why. Font size, zoom in again. Okay, so this is fine. So we have a div and over here now we can start creating the cards. Okay, so we will start with the div. Again, this is going to act as a, a card div. So this is card. Now inside the div, let's uh, first of all add the image. So I'm going to pick the original image that I have used for the original design. So let me just copy it. Now let's paste it here. So you can see this is how it looks like and it's kind of weird just because of the positioning. So first of all, we're going to provide some width and height over here. So we'll say width to be 72. All right, and now you can see <laughs> how it looks like. We'll provide height to be 96. All right, and then we're going to provide uh, some border radius. So we'll do rounded MD. So you, you're not able to see the border radius just because of the uh, just because the image is actually overlapping so we can use something called overflow property so I if I do overflow hidden you will be able to see this okay and then we can use some shadow so we'll do shadow MD so you can see a small shadow which looks really nice and uh, yeah all right so this is how the card is going to look like so this is just the outline and then we have this image now this image I need to add certain classes to it to make it uh, cover because if you have a low resolution image it is not going to cover so first of all we'll provide width to be full height to be full and uh, after doing this we're going to add the object cover property so this will basically uh, cover all of the image so all right now this image is done. Let's just start with the content. So content is, is essentially the uh, thing that we had over here. So let's just start. So for that, we're going to have a div here. And uh, in order to place the, this div inside this card, we're going to use the uh, absolute positioning. So first of all, I need to provide the relative class to the parent container. And over here, we will start with the absolute. So absolute. All right, then we'll do bottom to be zero because uh, it needs to align to the bottom. And then we'll also do left to zero and right zero. And now we're going to provide the bag uh, background color. So we'll do VG white, and then we will do some margin and we will add some uh, border radius as well. So you're not able to see it, but if I just provide some padding over here, you will be able to see the content. So I will remove the padding from here and now inside this div, I'm going to have another div which is going to act as uh, wrapping the content. So we're going to provide the class 
steps of P2 to just add some padding. Now over here we're going to have um, the H1 tag, which is actually going to be the title. So for example, hello world in Rust or anything. All right. So you can see this is how it looks like. Let's just start adding some classes to the title as well. So class and we will start by increasing the font size so text lg and then we'll do font semi bold so you can see it is semi bold now and then we're going to do we're going to change the color so we'll do text gray and a bit of grayish color but a bit dark so we're going to go over to 900 all right it's not exactly black <laughs> it's it's quite similar to black you can say that now we're going to add some margin to the bottom so mb2 works fine and then we are going to basically center it so text center all right so this portion is done let's write the paragraph now in the paragraph we just have some random lorem tag lorem text so if i just do lorem 10 we have the text here and now let's do certain classes i'm going to decrease the font size here so we'll do text to be x uh, sm so you can see the text size is smaller and then we're going to um, change the font color so usually in the paragraph we uh, choose to use a light grayish color so you can see this looks really nice all right so this is how the paragraph looks like let's move to the button so button is going to be a bit uh, lengthy just because you need to write a lot of classes here all right so let's start so let's start by providing the content here so read more okay perfect let's start writing classes let me just refactor the code because you're going to see a lot of classes perfect okay so we can start so if i just uh, save it there again formatting it so essentially we have this button let's override certain styles and give it a really nice class so first of all I'm going to decrease the font size so I'm going to go over to text access which is extra small then I'm going to do uppercase and then we're going to add some margin so margin top 3 and then margin bottom to be 3 so you can actually instead of writing this I could do mx to be my to be 3 okay so this portion is done then we will do font semi bold and then we will increase the letter spacing so we will do tracking to be widest okay and then let's change the background color so blue 500 looks pretty well and uh, then we're going to add padding so px6 py2 and then in order to make it rounded we're going to use rounded dash full okay so you will get these uh, rounded rounded corners now now I'm going to provide the text color so text white and then let's do since we want to put it on the right side so we can use the float right so you can see it is now on the right side so now it looks pretty well now in the original design we have a border radius so when you hover over it it was a uh, nice effect so we will try to put it here as well so we'll do border dash p dash 4 so okay i missed the space here so we have a border on the bottom side so we need to do the color so we'll do border dash blue dash let's go with the dark color of blue so 700 okay so you can see this so this is like the border but when you hover over it first of all we want to do border b so border bottom zero so we want to remove the border bottom so when you hover over it you can see the whole box is actually decreasing right so the size of the whole box is actually decreasing height so in order to fix it when you are hovering over it we can add the border to the top so border top four and if i now hover you can see we are getting the same color 
So I can actually change that as well by doing border dash top dash sorry border dash um, white. Okay, so when I hover over it, you can see it looks pretty well now. All right, so this portion is actually done. Yeah, so this button is actually done. Now the paragraph is done, heading is done. So in the original design, we also have um, a tag here, right? So let's try to put it. So we're going to create a span here. Now again, we're going to play with the uh, relative and absolute positioning. So we'll do absolute here. So since we are doing absolute in this uh, child comp uh, child element, we'll go over to the parent element and here we will provide the relative class. Okay. So let's try to put this uh, newly text here. So you can see this thing right now. And now we're going to uh, adjust the positioning. So we're going to say, first of all, let's try to design it. So PX3, PY1, and let's provide the background color. So let's go with PG rad and 900. Or 900, uh, 900 is too dark. Let's go with 700. All right, and uh, let's decrease the text size as well. So text excess, and yeah, let's do uppercase and text wide. So this is how it looks like. We want to do rounded full to make it like a badge. And then I'm going to do font dash semi bold. And then I'm going to do the tracking. So basically increasing the letter spacing. So you can see the tracking to be widest. Okay. So now it has a nice letter spacing and the tag looks great. Let's position it now. So we're going to say uh, the top to be zero. So you can see this. And then the right also to be zero. So it is here now. And now what I'm going to do is let's do transform, transform, we'll do translate dash y dash full and we want to negatively translate it so that it can reach at the top. Now we can actually add some margin top. So if I do margin top, you can see this. So I want to provide negative margins. So yeah. All right, so now you can see the batch is at its uh, position and it looks pretty great, right? So now you can see we are done with the card. And if I hover over it, it works really great. And now all I need to do is just create three more classes, three more, sorry, two more cards and we're done. So you can see the design is actually absolutely centered because we are using the flex in the parent component or parent element. So I'm essentially going to copy this div here which is actually representing one car let me copy the comment as well now I'm going to paste it three times all right so now you can see this in this size the card looks really great but the problem is the spacing between them so instead of changing the spacing um, in the cards we can actually go to the parent component and we can add the space dash x to be eight all right so now you can see it looks pretty well right and now the last thing that we need to do is change the image so let me just pick the original image from the original design so i'm going to copy this and paste it here so that this uh, image is changed and similar way i can copy the last one and paste it here all right, so this is how you can make nice looking cards using Tailwind CSS. So yeah, hope you like it. Make sure to like it if you like it. And yeah, I'll see you next time.